What is up, my young talented ones? It's your girl now. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, we're gonna react to Yo Yo 808 caught in 4K at the mall animated story. But before we get into the video, make sure you guys comment, subscribe, and share if you're to the channel. That's my goal, 600 down below my Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, and it will be right here. I don't know why it keeps doing that. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Before we get started with this video, I'd like to thank our sponsors over at Keeps. Keeps offers clinically proven treatments to combat hair loss. The treatment is delivered right to your door. You get unlimited doctor messaging so you can talk to an expert 24-7. And all of this is affordable because it's a monthly subscription service. So cancel the OnlyFans and get you some hair. And some bit. Whether you're looking to prevent hair loss or stimulate hair growth, Keeps has you covered. With its clinically proven wow. award winning products like the all natural thickening shampoo and conditioner systems. Sign up and talk to a physician today and they'll help you select the right products for a specific condition and your hair gold. The best thing is that you can do all of this video. Doing YouTube full time is cool, bro. Like I like I love it. Like all I ever do is write jokes and draw. Two of my favorite things to do. And when I'm not doing that, I can just go on my phone and see the George Foreman level of roasting that you guys give me in my DMs. I posted a video of me playing basketball. Oh, yo, your shot is flatter than a sprite in 90 degree weather. I posted a picture of me going outside, captioned, "I touched some grass today." <laughs> Touch some bitch. I posted about my weight loss journey. Notice how in both you still need a retwist? I wake up every day and fight for my life and my DMs, bro. But, but I love it. I, I really find it hilarious. And I feel like y'all know that because on the internet, I'm just seen as this chill dude who cracks jokes and draws pictures. But in person, I'm an NPC. Like, I'm for real a press X to talk ass nigga. And I fully blame my career choice. It took a lot of time and grinding to get here. And because of that, I sacrificed my early social life. I'm basically saying me as a 21-year-old has the same social ability as me as a 17-year-old. So, yeah, in public, I'm a, here, take this for your next battle. It'll help ass nigga but realizing the problem is the first step into solving it and this year i've really been trying my best to like leave my comfort zone specifically being able to go places by myself and usually it's good vibes but sometimes stuff does go wrong i remember this one time i went to the mall and i just went to browse for a little bit i wouldn't consider myself to be someone with drip i kind of just buy clothes for the colors rather than the brand so i wasn't looking for anything specifically but i did end up buying this pair of black converse so i head out to look for a shirt to match it which leads me to this one store and i could tell it was more of a hype store than i was used to i say this because there was a guy standing at the front door to make sure no one stole because they had really expensive stuff in there like off whites Yeezys, basically basically all the stuff that's made overseas for two dollars a ritz cracker and half a plan b pill and sold over here for the price of a car down payment i reached the door and say what's up to the guy and it goes word for word like this yo what's good man hey man how's it how's it going bro damn dude <laughs> Do I, do, I, do I smell or something? What's up with that? Weird greeting aside, I continue on into the store. And I notice all their shirts are black and white, so I skip it because, once again, I shop for color combinations, not brands. And I have a lot of black and white shirts. So I start looking and I realize, hey, yo, this stuff is expensive, bro. I look at the hoodies. No. Sweaters. <laughs> you better start uploading weekly if you want to cop this. Pants. Just go thrifting at this point, bro. Shorts. Why do you cost more than the pay? Because it's summer. They were taxing in this store, bro. With these prices, I might as well walk in this mall naked. I said might as well. I head back to the shirts because I hate looking around in stores and not buying anything. So I figure I'll just cop a few t-shirts and call it a day. Because there was no way the shirt... $150? What the... What do I look like, swoozy? Man, this is why I thrift, bro, because I came into the store with a black graphic tee and a decently nice pair of green pants, and this fit, minus the shoes, costs way less than the t-shirt. And honestly, the graphic tee I have on looks just like this sh Looks just like this shirt like they, they they actually look they actually look identical mine has butterflies this one has flowers the text on mine says the world is yours the text on this one says anti-social anti social, social, social club yeah 
Am I wearing a knockoff, bro? I don't know anything about brands. I, I just, if I like the color and design of a shirt, I buy it. I did not know. I look back at the dude at the front door and the guy looks like he's channeling all of his energy to keep from laughing at me, bro. Then it hits me. He saw me walk into the store with a knockoff shirt. Look at multiple tags in visible disgust because I'm a very animated person. <laughs> that was... That was funny. So yeah, I was stank facing all these tags, bro. I look broke as hell right now. And I can just feel the guy staring into my soul in a judging manner. Like, bro, I'm putting this stuff back. If this nigga keeps looking at me, I'ma stomp him out. I guess black dude crap. Cause my Big Mac got more cows than a Big Mac. Like, look away, bro. Stop lurking. The way you cast it looks gonna have me cursing. I mean, in a minute, my addiction to up and flicks gonna leave your body cold turkey. <laughs> video for no reason like I could, I could feel the guy looking down at me and i know he's done this before i know people have gone to the store and bought stuff just to not look broke in front of this nigga which is dumb because his opinion literally means nothing and i know i'm sorry if i walk into a store and I, I will gladly walk out if i cannot find anything that i like or if just the prices are too high because y'all not gonna take me for my money mm -mm. So spicy. This. So I go over to the shoes because I don't mind spending money on shoes and I want this guy to see me buy something. I see a pair of Yeezys and they look nice and no matter the price, no, 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 I'm not rapping right now. I don't care how much this shoe costs. I'm walking out of this store with something. Bro. Thank you for your purchase. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. Yo, you're not getting anything? <sighs> Have a good day, bro. I, I, I left the shoes, bro. Those shoes was $500. Like, I'm, yo, yo, I'm not him, bro. I'm, I'm not him. So I left the store with a pair of Converse, a bruised eagle, but a story that'll probably make me enough to buy like three things in that expensive ass store, bro. I'm telling you. Oh, pull up in the bank. Get it when you know I really want to buy shit. Hit a with a stick. For the one plus five six. Okay. I will say this religiously. I'm not gonna pay for stuff that I know that I can't afford and also <sighs> why would I pay all that money for whatever the case may be just to, just because somebody might be like dang you broke they pro they work in the job for a reason they probably broke that's why they work in a job but if you like this video, make sure you guys comment, subscribe, share. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. Give it to my goal 600. Down below my Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. And we right here. And I'll see you beautiful times, people, next time. Peace.